So, hey YouTube, I just wanted to do a, a quick rundown of how the uh, hydraulics are connected up as of as of today. Anyway, um, the whole tractor thing starts out with that that motor that I got from Harbor Freight. It's 400 something cc's, something like 13 or 14 horsepower. Um, right now, that's connected to this this uh, 0.7 cubic inch uh, hydraulic motor through a belt drive. Um, and then the output of the hydraulic pump goes to this two-spool valve here, comes in over here where I have a pressure gauge, and then out of the first valve goes back to these quick connect couplings, um, and right now it's just hooked up to this cylinder here to run the, uh, the sleeve hitch that I got, uh, that I, well, the sleeve hitch that I made and the blade that I bought. Okay, so that's the first valve. The second valve isn't hooked to anything right now. It just loops back to itself, just so that it doesn't leak out the ports. And then what comes out of the spool valve goes down to a motor control valve on this side. So I got a double acting motor control valve here hooked up to the, the foot pedal arrangement. So I can go forward or backwards and that valve comes out and goes underneath here and drives the small motor that runs the transmission. So that'll spin back and forth, so it kind of gives me a, um, a hydrostatic drive through this valve, plus I have uh, three forward and one reverse gear with this transmission, um, which I don't really use much most of the time. It just is in second gear and I can go forward and backward just by pushing the pedal either way. And then out of this valve, it goes into a flow control divider valve where I have about, I think it's a gallon and a half coming out of the one port. And that goes to the power steering gearbox that's out of a, oh, it's out of something, some GM. Um, I think it was an S10 Blazer maybe. And the other side of the flow control divider valve thing um, just goes back up into the tank and the other end of the power steering gearbox goes back into the tank through a return filter and back into there. And that's about it right now. Um, so the, the steering is all set up through this gearbox still. And I mean that's that's really it. It still works pretty. It's not that hard to turn when it's not running. When it's running, it's like butter. The gear power steering gearbox works really well. And um, and that's about it right now. So that's uh that's the basics. This muffler is way too close to the seat. Um, the, the manifold comes out of the cylinder here and does like a 90 degree up. So I think I need to make either find a a flange for that or make something that just comes out and just does a muffler back here or something because this this does get mighty toasty up there um yeah but that's uh that's about it for the tractor right now there's a brake on that transaxle that is not connected to anything the um when it's in gear they're just trying to turn the motor by itself it really does break it a lot it slows down so i don't really have too worried about the brakes right now but um maybe i'll work that in with like a handbrake or something um, but that is all for now. Thanks.